Hey guys, and welcome back to the VFL Wolfsburg series, my pro in the VFL. This is episode 3, and like I said, I will be taking my time bringing these out. These were Saturday's games from last weekend, so it's actually been a little bit too long. I didn't expect to take this long to upload an episode, but I don't really have time to post come these unless I'm home alone. But excuses aside, we are here now with episode 3. On your screen right now, the squad still. There will be some changes to the squad for um, not the episode after this one, but the episode after that, we will see some changes. But uh, right now, this is still the team we have at Wolfsburg. Two games on the Saturday, of course, both Bundesliga games. We started off well on Friday, winning our first uh, league game and our first Champions League group stage match as well. Um, so far, we've got the Super Cup. We're still in the running for all competitions. So let's keep it that way and make sure we pick up two wins tonight. This is the formation and lineup for the first game of the season. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty strong. I don't think we're missing anyone on the Saturday, which is good news. Two wins is what we need to get, no excuses. And let's hopefully get that clean sheet as well. We have been lacking in clean sheets, um, especially the Friday. We missed out on one. But that being said, let's just focus on the three points first and foremost. Most important thing, we need to challenge. We need to be up there um, as long as possible. Uh, in that title race before we meet the big teams I'd say and the next episode we actually do meet two big teams uh, but this is Darmstadt a team that isn't really too I'm um, too familiar with I think they changed the manager as well they didn't have a lot of players so in theory this should be a relatively easy win Lloyd picks out Sean I think he should have gone for me I was through on goal Sean ran offside put the ball into the back of the net anyways but Ruled out, unfortunately, after 10 minutes. Still nil-nil. Lloyd plays through Sean. Sean goes for the shot. I was there, but it rebounds back to me anyways. And I tap it in for an easy one. Nil. 12 minutes on the clock. Not our usual within 10 minutes we score our opening goal. But it's 12 minutes. I'll take that. That's not too bad. 1-0 uh, up to the good after some... Um, Good play, I'd say. I mean, it was a lucky rebound in the end. I'm, I'm just there to tap it in. Nothing spectacular, really. We're going forward again, looking for more goals. We're smelling blood. We're looking to capitalise onto this. Sean is through again. And I, I do believe that was a pass. Um, I can't remember exactly because it's been like four or five days, but I'm pretty sure that was a pass. And uh, unfortunately, the keeper gets a touch onto it. But there I get the chance to put it into the back of the net. Jesus Christ. I mean, as a YouTuber, you have the strength to cut out your mistakes sometimes, but when a second after your mistake, a goal follows, you can't really hide it, can you? Yeah, I missed that one, somehow, but Connor is there to slot in the rebound. 2-0, looking to go 3-0 up, but Lloyd takes down Sean with a brilliant uh, knee to the gut or whatever that move was. I'm, I'm not too sure. 2-0 still, looking to push for that third goal before the end of the first half. Daniel... Cuts inside and takes a shot trying to surprise the keeper, but that's all she wrote for the first half And we're dominating the game as you'd expect. They don't have a full 11. They don't have a lot of players new managers coming in um, So with all due respect to them, this is a game We should be winning comfortably and it looks like we're doing that as of right now But they do get a chance of their own an acrobatic diving header, but Leo grabs that one easily and still looking for that third. We're not going to sit back. Daniel plays one into the box. Lovely ball. And again, I'm, I'm just there to tap it in. There's nothing much I need to do there other than press shoot. Brilliant pass from Daniel. And an easy finish in the end. And it's 3-0. And as you can tell by the way we score these goals, this wasn't really too much of a challenge in this game. This was a game you'd expect us to do well in. I'm trying to find Lloyd here. I do. Lloyd tries to hold up the ball for Sean running in. But unfortunately, the defender caught up and got rid of the danger right there. Looking for a fourth. We keep pushing. We keep going. We're not in danger of losing this game anymore. Let's try and get as many goals as we can. I play through Daniel. Once again, we opt for the sweat to Sean. But unfortunately, again, the defender cuts it out. And it remains 3-0. And that is how the game ends as well. Darmstadt, to be fair, 3-0 when you're playing against the full 11 isn't the worst result. And I don't mean that. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to sound... Um, what's the word again? patronizing but that's that, it's a decent result considering we have a full 11 and we've won every game so far Darmstadt put up a fight especially there any had to grind it out to not make it to four or five nil so fair play to him I mean they did what they had to do hopefully the season from now on will go a little bit smoother for them but the next game the second game of the Saturday night again in the Bundesliga against FC Köln um, a team again it, it mixed emotions about this team 
when you look at them in the table and you look at the previous results, they aren't really meant to be up there challenging for titles. Maybe I'd say top eight is what they would go for, considering their strengths. But they actually gave us a bit of trouble, as you can see early on. They had some decent chances. We didn't properly get into the game until uh, the 26th minute where we do create a good chance here. I play through Lloyd and he finds the bottom corner to make it 1-0. Against the runner play, you could say not really. I'd say it was even at that point. They had a couple of pot shots from distance. We were trying to find the opening and we created one clear-cut opportunity where you'd expect a goal from. So maybe it's a deserved 1-0 lead. I try to play through Sean. Unfortunately, I can't. It falls back to me. Take the shot. Keeper saves. And Lloyd, for his second, makes it 2-0. And that is probably a bit flattering considering uh, the opening stages of the game. But we'll take it 2-0 up against Curlin. And um, we're looking good in this first half. Again, in terms of scoreline, not necessarily the way we're playing. It's not 100% clicking. I, I'm, I'm not going to say we're, um, we're playing great at the moment. And you can tell by the way we've conceded that goal as well. It isn't really all happy and, and you know and perfect what we're doing here we conceded from a corner just the back post header that was lost can't really blame anyone for that we tried to get the third here jack tries to play across the box but it's more of a shot even though he tried to pass the keeper parried that away and it's half time 2-1 and as you can tell by the stats it's relatively even again most of their shots i'd say have been from distance but that doesn't take away from the fact they're playing a good game and they might as well just be level at half-time as well, looking at those stats. Second half, we're coming out to play and trying to get that third to secure the three points. I get a shot, easily saved by the keeper in the end. Sean is about to take a long shot as well. He was given the space, why not? Off target, unfortunately. Still looking for that third because 2-1 is oh so dangerous. This is not a team where you want to drop points against if you're challenging for the title. Sean plays me through, I sidestep the keeper and thank God... I get my second of the game to put us 3-1 up and that settles the nerves a bit because this is already past the 80th minute and I could tell by the way we were in game, we weren't really comfortable, we were aware of the fact that one goal could just ruin the game for us and we could potentially drop points, but we don't. We get the 3-1 win, I get a brace myself, uh, not, not a brace actually, I get... I only scored one. I got an assist and a goal. My bad if I said I scored two goals. I didn't. One goal, one assist. Two goals for Lloyd as well. Again, the stats relatively even. Slightly the better of, uh, of the stats for us at the end of the game. But that is it. Two wins of two games. Tomorrow we've got Bremen and Dortmund. Both teams that are challenging for the title. This is going to be good. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all later.